the uh, pictures here, but this is a widespread event now, and uh, we're going to continue to follow this because as we speak, there is a benign rise in the sea level uh, that is occurring across the Pacific that if you're on a boat out there, you're not going to notice. But as that wave approaches a coastline, that amplitude of the wave becomes higher and higher, and that is where you can get 25 upwards of, my goodness, a 50-foot uh, waves crashing uh, on shore. We've already had reports of more than a 25-foot waves hitting um, Japan. So we're going to continue to monitor that as the wave propagates further to the east. And again, this is one tsunami with many, many waves that are coming in. We've already seen that in uh, Japan. Again, uh, let's go through some of the uh, uh, countries here. E essentially, there are over 50 countries now in the Pacific Basin that are under a tsunami warning. That means that we are expecting a tsunami arrival. Over 50 countries in the Pacific. There are watches posted for California, Oregon, and Alaska. The rest of us here are under a tsunami warning. Let's start off with the next arrival. Uh, this is happening in just a few minutes here at 917 GMT Wake Island. Are you watching us from Taiwan? Your arrival at 940 GMT. That's about 20 or about 30 minutes away now. Uh, according uh, to uh, our uh, times here, the Philippines getting in on it at 10 GMT. Marshall Islands at 1020 GMT. As the wave approaches uh, these islands, if we have folks available on the ground, we are going to try to make safe contact with them so they can tell us what is going on there. Each government uh, up to them is certainly how to evacuate folks. But keep in mind, some of these islands here are so tiny and so close to sea level uh, that if you're talking about a, a wave, a wall of water that is 25 foot plus high, uh, you can encompass the entire island here. So that is what we're talking about. The atolls is specifically across the South Pacific. Indonesia arrival time at 11 GMT. Uh, and again, uh, the, we're going to continue to track this for the next 24 hours, just like we did with the uh, Chile earthquake. Uh, Solomon Islands at 1228 GMT. Kiribati down to the south at 1337 GMT. What we cannot do is forecast, and this is what everybody wants to know, if you're living in some of these countries, uh, right? How high is this water going to be? Cannot forecast that because the bathymetry uh, that uh, once that water approaches is so different in every coastline. The irregularity of that is so different that uh, literally in the same country we could have an arrival of a five foot wave and just a few kilometers away a 20 foot wave uh, plus. Uh, so that is the problem we have with trying to forecast these things as they arrive. We know when they will arrive, we just don't know how bad they will be. New Zealand at 1823 GM. GMT, Nicaragua. Now we're getting into uh, 2200 GMT, and uh, I'll stop there because uh, the uh, warnings continue. If we have the other map, guys, uh, that has the uh, country cities uh, on there, uh, let's uh, switch to that if you can put that behind me. We have warnings now that extend essentially to Mexico, Peru, uh, California, Ecuador. Uh, all these regions are going to be impacted at some point or another, but that is down the pipe. We're talking 24 hours, and we have plenty of time to warn those folks. The countries that you're seeing highlighted there in this map, those are the ones that we're concerned about because as you see the epicenter, there are 150 kilometers kilometers just east of Sendai in uh, Japan, you are close enough to that epicenter where that wave, of course, arrives quicker to your location. Taiwan specifically, all preparations and anyone along the coast has to have already moved inland, has to have done that by several kilometers and certainly at about uh, at least 15 meters high, 50 feet. And that is your uh, safety there. If you can do that and you're watching us and listening to us, that is what I want you to do. Philippines, the same deal about an hour later that's your arrival there and again Indonesia Papua New Guinea and there are the Marshall Islands that's the tsunami threat Anna we are covering the tsunami threat but in Japan I just again saw another earthquake which is essentially what we call uh, them after the original quake aftershocks right of a 6.4 any buildings that have been compromised or structures that have been weakened as a result of the offshore 8.9 are going to come down in a hurry uh, with earthquakes uh, aftershocks of that magnitude. So Japan is seeing a double threat here. The tsunami warning uh, continues there. That threat is uh, continuing and ongoing. And then the earthquake threat will actually continue well past uh, when we're done talking about uh, the uh, tsunami here. One point about uh, Hawaii and the islands further 
to the uh, south and east of the uh, Philippines here. Again, the Indonesia earthquake back in uh, uh, 04, we had that Banda Aceh at that 9.1, right? Uh, look at all the land masses here that were essentially buffeting the uh, water as it was moving uh, in here. Uh, the earthquake this time happened here. Look at all the open space that that water has to travel. So that's going to propagate to the south, to the east, and uh, again, you're not protected if you are facing one way or the other on the shoreline. The tsunami will surround you. And it's difficult to kind of grasp. You think uh, a wave is kind of come right on the shore from one direction, but it actually propagates and uh, encompasses uh, entire islands. And so really no one is safe. And that's why uh, we continue to hear the uh, civil sirens uh, going off in Hawaii. We have our folks down there and uh, we'll continue to bring you uh, updates uh, live if uh, we can get them uh, from folks if they can do it uh, from safety. So again, uh, Pacific Tsunami Warning Center now under a widespread tsunami threat for basically the entire uh, Pacific uh, Basin uh, with few exceptions on uh, over 50 countries uh, will be uh, impacted and we'll continue to update the arrival times. Hawaii now at 3.07 local time. That is the initial wave uh, that uh, we're expecting there.